Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. I can see no reason why this gunpowder season should ever be forgot. A message and a rallying cry from 407 years ago that we'll talk about at the end. But for now, I'd just like to say hello. My name's Peter Smith. Uh, I'm the founder of a new political movement established in the United Kingdom called RE, RE Movement. What does RE stand for? RE stands for change. Change at its basic level to allow you, the citizens of the United Kingdom, to re-establish your sovereignty and retake your land. Re-establish the sovereignty which has been buried under a weight, or your individual sovereignty, which has been buried under a weight of statutory uh, legislation and restriction, and to retake your country, which has been hidden and stolen from you under the guise of security and protection by the government and its state control security services. So, the purpose of this short video today um, in a place called Keel Hall in uh, Newcastle under Lyme in Staffordshire is to bring to you the knowledge that this movement exists and to show you a way to liberate yourself from the various controls of, of the state uh, and the political agendas that are not in your best interest. So, why now? Well, what we've seen in the past over the last few years, and this is what we've been examining, is the groups like the Occupy Movement, Occupy Wall Street, Occupy the Banks, the Arab Spring movements, the Anonymous movements, all a great deal of energy has been expended into these movements. However, the end result has been what? The politicians or the governments or the Congress doesn't listen to the people's request. A lot of dissent, therefore, a lot of energy gone to waste. So what we wish to provide is a central hub, a nucleus, around which these various movements who are looking for change from Thrive Movement through Occupy or Anonymous and the Free Men movements of the various countries can come together and have established a set of well thought out ideologies and solutions to the status quo arguments for no change. Okay, now one of the questions you might be addressing to yourself internally right now is, how can we succeed when the great and the good of the past 200, 250 years have failed? What is it that we have that they don't have and that we can deliver to you? Well, the first thing is truth. Unfortunately, that has to be recognized. We can't teach it to you. The second thing, though, that we have is knowledge, a knowledge of the system and how it works. And thirdly, we have law. Two and three combined, knowledge with the law can give you the keys to open up the doors that are restricting you right now or controlling you. So, there is a simple but vital point that we've identified that the major movements and the global populations have missed over the, over the decades. And that simple, that simple thing that they've missed is this unilaterally imposed societal contract that the elite have over you, which is in the form of an implied or presumptive contract to control you. This is established with your birth certificate, with your national insurance or national insurance identity number, with your passport and any, any personal ausweis or identity document that you carry. This contracts you in to the government. Therefore, you can complain, you can march, you can demonstrate, you can sign petitions, but the net result is the contract holds. So, you've got to be clever, you've got to be more clever than the people who control you with the law. And it's the law we bring to you to help release you from these chains. Okay? Now, what we've identified are the five threats, the five enemies, the five controls that you must liberate yourself from. Very quickly, they're government, they're the politicians, they are the banks, it is the media, and it is the judiciary. Quickly running through those five control processes. One, the government. The government give the credibility to the laws. 
It's the government that basically tells you how to live your life and a set of belief systems that come from where? Certainly not from you, maybe from behind a secret curtain or a hidden agenda. So the government aren't your friends. Everybody knows this, this is nothing new. Next, don't forget though that the government is made up of politicians. These are individuals and invariably they're inept, they're not knowledgeable, they're non-experts, they have no leadership abilities and they have been compromised by the elites which they serve. And just remember, these politicians don't ascend the ladders of power unless they are made men. That means a safe pair of hands. From Bush through to Blair, from Clinton to Reagan, a safe pair of hands you must be. Now, the next then is the bankers. Remember, it's follow the money trail. Remember in Thrive Movement, if anyone's seen the film. If you haven't, we su uh, suggest you go and watch that. It's free and on YouTube. The bankers pay for everything. The bankers fund the politicians and the bankers pay for governments. The governments in turn tax you and 80% of your taxation revenue goes to pay the interest that the government has borrowed from the banks or the money that it's borrowed from the banks. So the banks are the people who fund it. No one moves without the money. Follow the money trail. The next thing is the media or the prostitutes. The media are the propaganda arm like the Goebbels propaganda arm in Nazi Germany which basically police the system and ensure that the right message is delivered. The number of stations in the United States a few years ago was 25, now it's down to 5. It's a controlled agenda of mind-numbing, sycophantic propaganda daily poured into the people's minds to poison them and distract them. So, they're not your friends. Finally, the judiciary. From the police to the courts, they patrol everything and ensure you pay your taxes, you pay your fines and parking tickets, you step out of line and you're, you're in trouble. So, this is what you need to, to decouple from. And what we are aware are going to show you is how to decouple from that. The bottom line is from World War I through to World War II, through to possibly a third world war if they have their way against Iran. All of it is planned and all comes as part of a established agenda from the Bilderbergs through to MJ-12, through to the NSA, the Trilateral Commission and the Council on Foreign Relations. Everything is pre-planned. So what we advise you now not to do, let's look at the solutions. We don't advise you to write to your MP. We don't advise you to sign petitions. We don't advise you to march on the streets. We don't advise you to riot or engage in other forms of socially non-acceptable action. What we do advise you to do, though, is the following. Join with RE. Become a member. Join RE movement. Secondly, consider publicly declaring a sacrament. Sacrament stands for simple or sworn affidavit confirming released men's trust. This is a re-establishment and a decoupling from the government to say you are an individual with God-given inalienable rights and those cannot be taken away from you and neither can anything be given to you. It's a declaration of responsibility. Thirdly, we ask you to accept a tenet where, whereby all free and fair men can live equally and egalitarianly with each other, and we call that loop, a liberating, overriding, universal principle. Details of these you can see on the internet, they will be posted. Next, we encourage you to communally set up a community bank based on something called finality of settlement under common law. That means there's no interest on it, and once you pay, it's finished. And this is called WEA, WEA Bank, and the unit of currency is called RE. Again, all this will be furnished to you when you become a member. Next, uh, we would ask you to set up a common law court of record. There is one already established in Newcastle under Lyme, from where we speak, from you to, uh, speak to you to from today, and that's 75. 0181 is the code number for that common law court of record. It provides the re-members with a 
forum to protect them from all incursion of any statute law and any debt recovery or debt mechanism. Next, what we would ask you to do is help us to organise and grow our movement. Get a badge, get it printed off, look at and see any of these uh, logos that we, we, we will publish on the internet. Next, help us with our housekeeping. We have a housekeeping agenda whereby we're working with white knights and other interested parties within, within the United States and other countries of Europe where we do something called housekeeping. This entails the mass arrest of the criminal elements within Parliament, within government, within the media, within the judiciary, within the banking cartels, so we stop the looting and we start the prosecuting and we also take that into the corporatocracy and eliminate the threat theft because the system is broken we need to not fix the system or tinker with the system we need a new framework completely we can show the way forward with this and finally the eighth one is what I'd suggest is that you join with us on the 5th of November 2012 407th anniversary to march on Parliament to make our views known and what we would say to you then is join Green Movement, become a member and don't forget then remember, remember the 5th of November we want you there. Thank you for listening. We will post again. Just type into Google or into YouTube. Read or re-movement. That's it for now. Thank you.